donations were steadily coming in at the North York Civic Center today as members of the Haitian community held an information session about relief efforts in the earthquake ravaged country. The rebuilding of Haiti is going to take for like a long time before to get there. But right now, the essential thing is a lot of people have an eight since Tuesday. Haitian refugee Maurice Losidon spent the first two days after the quake worrying about his common law wife and daughter that he left behind on the tiny island nation. My friend called my sister from the state and then they told him that my daughter and my common law, which is my baby in my mouth, died. Uh, I was shocked, screaming, crying. But because of his status, Lassadon can't go home to bury his family and is left wondering what would have happened if he'd brought his daughter to Canada a year ahead of schedule. I try my best to be strong as much as possible because I can say I'm lonely. I'm just the only one in Canada. I don't have no family, no brothers, sisters. Representatives from the Red Cross, Feed the Children, and World Vision were on hand to provide information about how to donate and to collect donations for their relief efforts in Haiti. And what kind of help is needed? Well, so far it's like food and water. To find out how you can help and to find online links to charities' websites, go to the torontosun.com slash news slash Haiti. For the Toronto Sun, I'm John Pete.